One thing that I probably should have listed when you talk about supplements, but there's different ways to get a buildup of nitric oxide, whether through exercise or diet or a supplement. But nitric oxide is one of the things. Is, that, I, in, is that in uh, pomegranates? Pomegranates, is it? Uh, well, oh. Beets are what are famous beets, for it, beets, right? Beets, yeah, okay. but any source of nitrites or nitrates that can be converted, uh, huge source. And, and, and green leafy vegetables, uh, I have to give credit here to two people. Um, one, Dr. Nathan Bryant, because he has done most of the major research on nitric oxide. He worked with the Nobel Prize winner in this area, and he's the guy that I would say is the source if you want to you know, start with one. And then um, to a colleague of mine, uh, Dr. Uh, Eugene Shippen, who was one of the first, uh, I think his book was in the 80s about you know, uh, writing about testosterone and its value. Um, he had a presentation that he gave to a conference at some point that he shared with me and it had uh, th these studies showing uh, the benefits of nitric oxide. In short, if you combine the studies with diabetics, and uh, the, the, I thought the best one was a very large, almost 44,000 people. And if you look at the study, it was designed pretty well. There are not too many flaws, and it's obviously well-powered. Um, there was, if you do the math, there's an 81% all-cause mortality reduction in the max dose, which is essentially a PDE5 inhibitor, which blocks the reabsorption of nitric oxide, um, seven days a week. Uh, and I would argue the best one of those, just quick side note, is not you know, the shorter acting ones like Cialis, I mean, uh, sorry, Sidenafil like Viagra, but Cialis or Tadalafil, they're both you know, generic versus uh, brand, because it has a much longer half-life, but 81% all-cause mortality reduction. That is sick. If you invented something that you could take by mouth that didn't have any harm done to you, it was cheap and easy, even if it was expensive, doesn't matter, that reduced all-cause mortality by, say, 11%, you and I would not... I mean, if you were still interested in having this conversation with me, it would be... You would be on your yacht, 700-footer in the Greek islands somewhere, and I would still be here, you know, <laughs> hoping I have good reception. I mean, that, that's phenomenal, and yet you got to wonder why that isn't made more public, and he asked me why I, I produced the book. I mean... When he shared that with me, I was like, holy smokes. And I attribute it to him in the book, as I do now. I mean, that's just amazing. And you wonder why you don't hear more about it. Well, not to be a downer or cynical or whatever, but with, with uh, lipid-lowering drugs being mainly generic and all those, uh, the PD-5, uh, uh, PD-5 inhibitors I mentioned all being generic, there's no money in it to, to talk about it. If you're a pharmaceutical, you know, manufacturer, and I don't mean to be that way about it, but I'm just saying it's the way yes. of the world. <laughs> so I, you know, this is why I want to, I just want to shout it, you know. Uh, so what would you, if if you wanted to to take or get nitric oxide supplements, what what would be what would be a quick thing you can go and look into straight away? So green leaf, <clears throat> green leafy vegetables, uh, the beets I mentioned. Uh, anything that has a higher level, you can Google anything these days and find out, you know, different nitrite and nitrate contents of foods, and you can include those in your diet more. So exercise works really well up until, uh, you know, a certain age. And as we age more, it works less because these uh, cells, these um, uh, endothelial cells that make nitric oxide synthase, they call it, uh, they don't work as well. But um, at the risk of maybe giving you an off-color example, but I asked male patients this, do you remember when you were, say, 16 and you had a girl in school and, and maybe you were running for the track club or whatever, and if you went out and exercised, let's just say without getting too, you know, you performed much better, <laughs> performance being, you know, crudely judged as erectile function, <laughs> that's because you stimulated that nitric oxide, okay, through the nitric oxide synthase cells, and uh, unfortunately, oh, and precursors for that, by the way, would include, uh, you know, L-arginine, L-citrulline, okay? Uh, but those don't work as well, we find, as we get older, because that mechanism doesn't work as we age. It just tends to break down. So your sources uh, via food are much better as we age. And when I say age, I mean, you know, like, well, like your age and beyond, I would argue. For sure. So would you, would you have, like, beet juices or something like that? Yeah. Then? Okay, and and there are you know if you can't stand beets, there's plenty of other uh, options. But if you like that, I mean that has a high concentration. But if you prefer a supplement, uh, again, L-arginine and L-citrulline would not be your best. I'm not saying exercise still won't help, but it may not be your best option. Um, you can get, uh, and it's not. I'm going to get in trouble if I n n mention a name pejoratively. But there is a company that makes beet uh, derivatives that is 
not what they say they are. There are others that do say or uh, are what they say they are. Uh, well, I can easily say the ones that were that are currently being manufactured by Dr. Nathan Bryant, uh, and I can name a name because I'm saying a nice thing. No2u. So those letters and and that number, uh, that's one that's like a stick pack. You know, you can I might even have one here. No, uh, where you can pour it into a glass, and you know that way you don't have to eat beets that's if you don't like good. them. And he's got a tablet now, a lozenge that has the, the ingredient in it. So uh, it's basically sodium nitrite. Um, and by the way, so so maybe it's in your head right now. I can't tell by looking at your eyes. But you, wait a minute, nitrites are bad for you. No, this is a perfect example of where you got some weird science and, and maybe some misinformation out there. Nitrites are a great source of eventually, you know, becoming nitric oxide in the body. As long as that's another thing, uh, you know, don't use. Um, a strong mouthwash like Listerine because the bacteria in the mouth are needed to break down, to start the process of breaking down uh, nitrites and nitrates into something that can be used to make nitric oxide in the body. And that's part of the reason why uh, Dr. Brian, I'm sure, uh, developed a lozenge. So you gotta swish it around in there with the, the, the saliva and, and the, the right bacteria to get it um, in mm. the form it needs to be.